Hi, my name is Andrea Rose. I'm an actress represented by Betty's and Do's. Today I'd like to read you another Aesop's fable story called The Fox Without a Tail. A fox that had been caught in a trap succeeded at last after much painful tugging in getting away. But he had to leave his beautiful bushy tail behind him. For a long time he kept away from the other foxes for he knew well enough that they would all make fun of him and crack jokes and laugh behind his back. But it was hard for him to live alone. And at last, he thought of a plan that would perhaps help him out of his trouble. He called a meeting of all the foxes, saying that it had something of great importance to tell the tribe. When they were all gathered together, the fox without a tail got up and made a long speech about foxes who had come to harm because of their tails. He said there was one caught by hounds when his tail had become entangled in a hedge and that another was unable to run fast enough because of the weight of his brush. Besides, it was well known, he said, that men hunt foxes simply for their tails, which they cut off as prizes of the hunt. With such proof of the danger and uselessness of having a tail, said Master Fox, he would advise every fox to cut it off if he valued life and safety. When he had finished talking, an old fox arose and said, smiling, Master Fox, kindly turn around for a moment and you will get your answer. When the poor fox without a tail turned round, there arose such a storm of jeers and hooting. He then saw how useless it was to try any longer to persuade the foxes to part with their tails. There is a moral to this story. Do not listen to the advice of him who seeks to lower you to their own levels.